I'm John Waters, I'm a film director slash film elder. Jean was an eccentric friend from much of my life in New York. I would take her sometimes as my date, some opening or something. And she was my editor when I wrote for Grand Street Magazine and she was absolutely lovely to deal with and doing exactly what she should be doing as a good editor. I could tell her anything and she wouldn't judge it. I don't think she'd try to be understanding. And she was somebody that would go to bat for you, but she had a great sense of humor. That's what Jean liked to do is laugh at things that you maybe weren't supposed to laugh about. She enjoyed art like I do that causes trouble and first makes you mad. And I met Jean through my art dealer, Colin DeLand, who was an amazing eccentric art dealer. And she bought one of my really early pieces from my very first show, which is a pretty controversial one. We filmed the Kennedy assassination and Divine played Jackie in a movie I made called Eat Your Makeup. And it was in her living room and she knows the Kennedys. She had wall power, but very subtle wall power. And it was the best kind of collector. There was no special lights on it or anything. She would have like it just sitting right out like some priceless thing, you know, elegantly. Like it was supposed to be there, not because you were supposed to be impressed. You walked in and it was this incredible New York apartment. But she made you feel comfortable. I didn't feel intimidated by it. You know, I heard that her apartment was one of the smaller ones. I thought, you're kidding. What are the other ones like? When she had a party, she was a great hostess. I mean, the social part of her life was part of her writing too. Everybody said she has these salons. She did. Jean would sit next to you, an eye surgeon, or somebody, you know, completely from a different walk of life. But they, in their own field, were maybe controversial. <laughs> she liked rule breakers and everything. She had a world that I might not have had access to growing up, but I had a world that I know she doesn't have an access to, too. <laughs> you know, I could take her to some great redneck bars in Baltimore that would scare the shit out of you. She'd go. That's why she was such a good writer, because she was curious. She was looking for an adventure. She was game, let's put it that way.